Today we'll walk through the process of creating a custom field within our application. The custom field I want to create will be tied to our backlog items. So let's look at the current values that we're capturing for our backlog. Here I'm able to see the current values that we're capturing for our backlog items. As I scroll down, I'm also able to see the custom fields that we've already created, such as t-shirt size, rope map item, and so forth. But maybe there's an additional field I want to create. Maybe I want to understand where my requests are coming in from. So let's create a field called Special Requester. So first thing we're going to do is go into Administration, Configuration, and Custom List Types. Here I'm going to add the list type that I'm trying to create. So I'll just call this Names. After I've created it, here I see my custom list type, custom names, and I see that it has not yet been published. So let's publish our changes. Once our changes have been published, we're ready to move on to the next step. So let's go to list types and custom to look for the custom list type that we just created. So as I scroll down, here I see custom names. So let's add some names. After I've added the names, I can change the order if I want. I'll leave the order as it is. Now let's move on to the next step of going into Configuration and Custom Fields. Here we want to select the asset that we're adding this custom field to, so Backlog Item. And I actually want to add a drop-down. So I'll call this Special requester and I'll tie it to the custom names list type that I just created. Once again I want to publish my changes after my changes have been published I want to go into project workspace assets. Here I can decide whether I want this field to display on all my projects or on a specific project. I want this to be a default on all the projects, so I'm going to create a project workspace at the system level, uh, so my, the company level actually, Easy Support Inc. I'll create a project workspace, and now when I go to Backlog Item, I'll look for Names, or Special Requester, and check off these values. I'm able to see here that my field configuration was saved successfully. So now let's go back to the backlog. And here we'll see that our new custom field has been added.